Good morning. Okay, that was a little bit staged. Everyone is already up. Not, Good morning. Not awake though. <laughs> <laughs> Porridge is ready. Coffee is waiting. Sun is shining. Beautiful day ahead of us. Whew. 9 a.m. We are on our way. It's pretty good time for me. <laughs> okay, let's see where this is the start of the hike. Then you have to turn left here. Okay, bye by the way. Pretty nice, cool campsite. Very, very comfortable. Good showers, laundry. I did my laundry. <laughs> So if you ever stay at this campsite, let me know if you get out. There's a shortcut <laughs> just behind the reception, up the stairs, go here, and then you find the West Island Way right across the street. Ah. What a beautiful day. It's blue sky. Can you imagine that? Wow! So, first time on the hike, sunglasses out, of course, sun protection on the skin, sunscreen. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, really nice night at the campsite. It was very, how can I call it? It's very nice to socialize. Yeah, just when you hike by yourself, you talk to yourself the whole day or to the camera. But yeah, yesterday evening and also this morning, super nice to talk with people in the laundry room or in front of the building or my neighbor campers. <laughs> so it's also why I think my decision to not do full wild camping is a good decision because I it's good to have the mix. Sometimes I want to be by myself, you know, get annoyed by other people, then wild camping is a good option. Sometimes it's just super super nice to have people around nice people who are not loud, you know, who are interesting, friendly, yeah, so. Before I start philosophizing, you know what I mean, again for an hour. Newsflash! I had a shower and I did my laundry. <laughs> Crazy! Yeah, the campsite had washing machine and dryer. I washed everything. My pants, jacket, all shirts, all underwear, all socks. I'm practically brand new as if Starting from Glasgow now. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Also shower. Wow. First shower since Glasgow. Felt amazing. I feel newborn. <laughs> We're already about one hour out of Tindrum. 
I waited with my monologues and talking to the camera a little bit because for quite some time the path was going along a road that you maybe can see this in the background there's some cars so and the shape the valley the shape of the valley makes the sounds a bit louder so yeah nice morning so today today's destination is King's House and that is 31 kilometers today is the longest day Whew. good weather for it forecast says no rain until maybe tomorrow evening so let's hope that forecast is correct 31 kilometers it is 10 20 a.m. now I don't really know how many kilometers I hiked. I estimate in one hour I might do four kilometers optimistically <laughs> next stop should be Bridge of Ork Bridge of Orchi Bridge of Orch Bridge of Ork pick the pronunciation you want I am not really sure I asked people and I heard different answers <laughs> so that should be after 10 kilometers if I'm correct I will have a break there that should be lunchtime then then after that the 15 16 kilometer mark is in Veroran well, if that was wrong I will write the correct word down there I'll have another break there and then it's basically pushing through to King's house and let's hope that I arrive in daylight ah, I don't I don't think there will be no daylight anymore so I will for sure make it just I cannot predict yet if it will be 7 or 8 or 9 p.m. something like that King's house, if I'm correct, it's just a hotel. In yeah, there's no there's no village there. It's just a hotel in the middle of nowhere in the Western Highlands of Scotland. Should be very popular for the hikers because like I said it is there's not much else between Inveroran and Kingloch Leven there's just King's house so I heard and I read that it can get very busy with campers there's no official campsite so it's all wild camping <laughs> so they actually the hotel seems to allow the hikers to camp nearby around the hotel because probably they know that these hikers will come in have dinner have breakfast buy stuff so it's a win-win situation the hotel doesn't have to maintain a campsite they just let the campers do what they do but they still can make money with them huh? and of course people are friendly here so so to speak so there's a lot of support for the hikers here everyone is friendly even the locals are interested yeah how do you like the west High highland way i want to do it one day it's amazing how do you like scotland and so on very 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 friendly people very happy here <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is a popular wild camping spot, I believe. There's uh, a stream there, a lot of flat green grass. It's called Auch or Auk or something like that. Fortunately, there's construction going on there. And well, if you check on the map, the place with this aqueduct or no bridge, whatever it is over there, it's you can easily find it on Google Maps. I think the place it's space spells A U C H. During my planning, I thought about staying here instead of Tindrum. That would have meant. 25 kilometers yesterday or 26 kilometers but to be honest I'm happy happy I stayed at the campsite had a really great night great people there so for me that was the perfect decision Eight kilometers in now. Be another three to the bridge of Orchi. <laughs> so it's eleven to there in total. Uh, yeah, at the moment it's a nice landscape. Can hear the road. The other side of the valley was pretty much straight, going along this valley here, all the way to the rise in that direction, and I came all the way horizon from that direction so a bit straight on on the gravel road today Sorry, nothing super world breaking, crazy philosophy stuff from me at the moment. Just walking this road through the valley. Not thinking much actually. So it's very meditative almost. Just walking and looking. But now no real thinking, you know, problem solving, something like that. So, relaxing for the brain, I guess. <laughs> Boring for my viewers. <laughs> I walk this lonely road, the only road that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's home to me, I walk alone. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Sorry, I will stop singing. I think I confused the sheep around me. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's something that goes through my head. Just some music. And I don't remember the lyrics very often, so I just hum along like. Mm -hmm. But the intro of Green Day, of course. I remember another song I'm thinking of at the moment is Hey Ya, uh, the version of Obla di Paca. Hey Ya, Hey Ya. <laughs> Sorry, I did not want to sing anymore. I think it's a cover version of Outburst. Hey Ya. I don't know. But it's an acoustic version. It's really nice. If you don't know it yet, Look it up on YouTube. Obla di Paca, hey ya. And I'm thinking about it here because whenever I met a group of Scottish people, uh, they greet me, hey ya. <laughs> I think it's hey ya. So that's why that song popped up in my lonely brain. Okay, talking gear. What do we have? We have 
filming with the GoPro 12 tripod, Kuman, Carvao, something. Then walking sticks, le leaky. <laughs> uh, shoes are Lobar Renegade. Socks are Revolution Race. The pants are Revolution Race. Shirt is Jack Wolfskin. Has to be <laughs> uh, hat. I don't remember what else. Underwear is Under Armour. Uh, watch, Garmin, Phoenix, something tactical, blah. <laughs> yeah. Any of these companies, if you want to sponsor me, get in touch. <laughs> oh, and Oakley sunglasses. Oakley, get in touch. I need new ones. They're very scratched. <laughs> Backpack Tatonka. Tatonka. Okay, changes are happening. Leaving the gravel road and going, looks like going under the railway and then let's see. Ah, that's actually bridge of Archie station here. Uh -huh. Wee, 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 wee. How uninformed can someone be? Yes. <laughs> so I did not know. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. I did not know that bitch of orchards is actually a village with the train station and everything. I thought it's just a bridge. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Bridge of Orchi. So, over there's the bridge. Look at it later. Here's the Bridge of Orchi Hotel. That's where I will have a little. Yep, yep. That's where I will have a little break. All right, looks like a very straight asphalt road now for me. Nope, no asphalt road. That was wrong. <laughs> Good that I immediately checked on the map. I just missed the junction. <laughs> So let's see wild camping place at Bridge of Orgy. A uh, couple of tables and benches. 
next to the river, next to the bridge. Nice setting. Very nice that people are tolerated to stay there, let's say. As long as everyone behaves and take rubbish the way we leave no footprint, you know. I think then it will continue be to be tolerated. But as with many things, if too many things misbe too many people misbehave, then sooner or later they will be forbidden for everyone. So respect that place, people, so that your kids can still camp there. <laughs> By the way, sandwich was enormous and the beer was nice too. I always like to try the local brews. This one was, how was it, was it called? Bridge of Orgy Highland Lager. Yeah, approved. Right, it's a big hill between Bridge of Orgy and Iverora going uphill at the moment. Whew, sweating in the sunlight. Here seems a lot of forest work is going on, which means pretty much the forest is gone. Oops, sorry. Sure they do it for a good reason. Maybe the forest was sick or I don't know. <laughs> to look it up. couple of kilometers from Bridge of Orkshi to Iverogan want to be conquered. Whew. Up, up, up. Still uphill. <laughs> but landscape has changed, it's nice. No more road. Actually it's just nothing. It's just the highlands. Oh, I think the road there is in the distance. And we're going there, obviously. Whew. On the way down again, this is the view to the other side. Very windy here. There you can see Iveroran. This house is there. That's where we're heading. I don't know if we stop there. Uh, I just had lunch, so Ooh, maybe just refreshment, fill up the water bottle and then continue. Yeah, still have a couple of kilometers to King's house. I am speed. water bottle and now we're moving on it is 3 20 p.m. and it is 12 kilometers I think to King's house I expect to be there hopefully around 8 p.m. <laughs> I 
prime speed. Well, there's another wild camping spot at the bridge right after Iveroran. As you can see, some people already setting up tents. for me. I mean, it's just three something. Half of the day is ahead of me. <laughs> oh, I just rechecked. Of course, it is 16 kilometers to King's Ops. So not, not 11 or 12, 16. Whew, in case I got that wrong. I think I, I, I said 11 before. So that it's 16. I am speed. The area we will come through now on the way to King's house is called Ranoch Moor. So it's, it's a moor. What's the English word for moor? Moor is this English, isn't it? Otherwise, we call it like that in Scotland. I look forward to see how it looks like. I don't think anyone lives there. It should be completely empty. Maybe a road somewhere in the distance going through it. Yeah. I already walked a little bit, like half an hour or so. Oh. Sun is burning now. Hottest time of the day. I have no idea what temperature it is, but yeah, it feels it's warm. Fortunately, there's a breeze, cold wind, so it makes it not too bad. But it's difficult, of course, to talk to the camera. I hope you can understand me. <laughs> I'm walking on a one of these old stone roads. It's super hard. Look at that. Difficult to walk on. Still better than an asphalt road, but I prefer a gravel road over this kind of pokes into my my feet every step. Look at that. So lucky to have such a good weather. Ah, I feel blessed. Well, I guess we are in the moor already. One other hiker just overtook me there. Other than that, I'm completely alone for quite some time now. Whew. I just think that everyone else was faster than me and I'm the last one. Like all the other days. But I enjoyed it because if you're very early and slow then all the other people will overtake you if you start late and you are slow like me no one overtakes you <laughs> oh did i say i'm slow no actually i am speed i am speed i am speed i am speed on my personal comfort zone level <laughs> Whew. This path goes on endless. Can hardly see that other hiker anymore. It's just really no, he just disappeared. Whew. At the moment, I'm on something like a plateau here. 
at least the altitude profile of the hike looks like it. From Iveruran I went up, up, up. Now I'm at around the elevation of around 300 meters for a bit and then I know that I have to cross one more hill on today highest point around 450 meters so it means I have to climb 150 meters somewhere today later oh I'm looking so much forward to that <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit of water. Not so sure about this one here. But filter should do the job, right? Should be able to do filter this. The only thing that it cannot filter is uh, when it's chemicals when you're near a city, you could not drink from a water from water near a city where they put all sorts of stuff into the rivers or when you're near animals or humans eh? human poop that's the worst humans make sure when you have to pee or poop stay away from the water eh? you can really contaminate it and make other people very sick <laughs> The break was nice. I know I'm running late. Should hurry up. But no, what's the point? A, I needed water, so I had to stop anyway. B, oh, I just wanted to stop. <laughs> I don't think 10 15 minutes make it so much worse. Just makes you the value of having such a break so much bigger yeah because after that you feel refreshed and can continue with more energy and motivation so without the break sooner or later you would get into a bad mood or I don't know start suffering not good so do your breaks Breaks are important. Small breaks, five minutes, ten minutes. So this looks like a camping, camping spot to me. So right next to the path, behind the bridge, you can tell someone already had a fire here. Yeah, it works perfect. Two tents, maybe. Yeah. But not for me tonight. Lake here. The sun is burning. <laughs> Camping spots here in the hills. There are also two guys standing there. I think they're already yeah. someone definitely camping there. Yeah, super nice here. Very nice spot. Ah, there's 
the tank. Found it. Teat. Yep. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. So, found another wild camping spot and the two girls are filming some deer. <laughs> Those were two nice camping spots. Yeah, but you have to be there early, I would say. And unspoken law or rule of wild camping is you don't camp near to someone who is already wild camping there. Right? Let the person alone. If it's a big open space, yeah, maybe. But in places like this, I would not. Of course, there's enough room for a second tent, but no way that would would be so so beep holy. <laughs> and by the way, I think the last challenge of the day has started. It's going uphill, and I can see the path over there going uphill so I'm not really sure where it's going but from now on it will be 100 to 150 meters uphill in the climb now Whew. Not so bad. Just one foot in front of the other. Slow and steady. I think I'm halfway up. All right, highest point. There, came up from there. Now, path flattens and seems to go down over there in the next valley. <sighs> Check the map again, it's another four kilometers to King's house. So it's 7 p.m. now. Estimated arrival time 8 to 8.30. More 8.30 I would say. That's fine. Over there in the distance is King's house. Right at the main road. Right, getting closer over there is that mountain resort thingy. I think they have camping, but we're going somewhere there. <laughs> well, one thing for sure here Mitch is out here. <laughs> First time on this trip, it's a whole lot of Mitch's. Already, you can already see some tents on the right hand side of the of the trees. I see one, two, three. It's not so bad, but we have to get closer. Okay, arriving at King's house. Wow, thirty kilometers 31 I don't know I have to check my GPS later definitely the longest day but still the day three 
from Zalochi, Zaloch to Beinlas, I would put on number one as the hardest. This is number two. My feet hurt yeah, from mainly from the asphalt. Asphalt road, here is also asphalt coming, that hurts. Yeah, don't think it's a blister, but they're looking forward for, to some rest. All right, approaching here. So they provide public toilets and showers, which is a nice thing. Thank you, King's House. Whew. I think I have to go to the right now, cross a bridge, and then that's where the camping is tolerated. Okay, this looks more like festival here. <laughs> That's like, I don't know, 20 tents spread out here. Big sign, no camping. That's the most funny thing. Good enough for today. I think I'm going over to the King's house now and see if I can get a snack or a drink. Good night. In my video then you can see how it looks like to camp at King's house next to sheep poop. Quality content. I am speed. I am speed. I am speed. These steep gravel roads are my kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> 